Welcome back. Can you believe that Weekend AM is on the air for almost four years? We've never made our own lasagna. Really? What's up mm. with that? Well, yeah. we're changing all of that today because Dean Diplock from the Radisson Blue Hotel in Atalone joins us. And this is, of course, as we would have expected, Dean, a little bit of a twist. Oh, yeah. Yes, it's, it's all about getting vegetables into the children. That's the most important. And using as lean a mince as possible. So what I've done here is I have um, some really neat lean mince. There's only about 18% fat in that. And we're going to bake it in the oven so that the oils come out and we can pour them off. So all you're left with is nice lean mince. OK. So pop that in the oven quickly. So when you say, did you say 18% fat on that? 18% fat. Because quite often, on, if you're buying it in the in the packet, it will say 4% or 7%. Is that too low? If you read it, it depends. Lean mints, very lean mints, so it won't have too much, but then it doesn't carry much flavour. Okay. So you want to so make a little sure bit of that fat it has good. a little bit of fat in it. Um, okay, so I've obviously, the recipe's on the website. Yes. So we have oh, speeded yes. things up a little bit here. I've cooked the mushrooms in advance, okay. nice and brown. Again, we're going to hide those into the mince. Uh, we've made our ratatouille. The ratatouille is literally a mixture of vegetables that we put together. There's nothing complicated about it. It's the same thing you buy in the bottle, but ten times healthier and much tastier. Just give us a quick skirt around this tray. Onions, okay, we have aubergine. aubergine courgette, two peppers, the tomato sauce, just to give a bit of sweetness and tang. Tin Two tomatoes, tins of tomato. Salt, pepper. Salt, pepper, uh, bouillon, uh, stock. Bit of chilli, that is optional. You can leave out your garlic and your tomato paste. Beautiful. You literally put it all together in the pot, and that's it. Okay. Right at the very It'll be end. all up on the website anyway, Dean. Right at the end, before we use it, we're going to pop in some uh, fresh basil. Lovely. So nice. that's going to give it a lovely taste. And then when the kids say, oh, Ma, there's something green in it, you say, what's the basil? Don't tell them it's a spinach. Ah, uh, you yes. see. You yes. okay. see, you see. OK. Um, so, very simply, I have here our mipois, which is celery, yeah. carrots and onions. Right, yeah, the Holy you know, Trinity. the base, the Holy yeah. Trinity. And I've put in a bit of uh, stock in there. If I can ask you to start there with the bechamel, which is your flour, you can put it all in. And uh, instead of studying an onion and all that rubbish that goes with it, we just use a little bit of white onion soup powder. And that okay. gives you a little bit of onion flavour. So we can add that to it as well. All, Chef. All, that can all go in, absolutely. OK, I'm going to quickly rehydrate your mince. Now, remember, you've dried that mince, you've crisped it up. We're just going to rehydrate it in the stock. Uh, for time purposes, obviously, we're not going to let it run for too long. Sure. Um, that would be a good four or five minutes just to bring it back up to heat again. Okay. I would suggest if you're going to make a, bit, um, a ratatouille, as you can see, it splashes all over the show. Excuse me, just grab yes. that. Will I start adding the milk in, Chef? Uh, yes, if it's nice and hot, certainly. Uh, where are we on this one here? Let's get it to full height. There you go. Right. That's bring a handy little work. cover, the gauze. It's, otherwise, you're going to splash the walls. Yeah, of course. <laughs> you it's end up splashing handy. the walls. Very handy to have. So what I'm going to add then quickly, I'm going to take that off. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put my ratatouille into my mince and stock, like so. Look at the lovely colours in that. Uh, very People are always frightened of making their own bechamel, their own white sauce. Very yeah. simple. But the, it's so simple. The trick is hot milk. Hot, hot milk. milk. Don't put cold milk hot in there. So, sorry, stir. Simon, what's in your pot now? So, I added in some... So, we started off with some melted butter. We had some flour in there, some onion powder and some hot milk. But as, as okay. Dean says, the key is hot milk. The hot okay. milk. So, and you can see that thickening up there now and it turned into a proper nice sauce. white okay. sauce. Yeah. I'm going to put the spinach in now. Like so. And that wilts quite quickly, doesn't very it? Very quickly, very quickly. Pop a lid on that and that will wilt right down. You know what I find the mad thing with spinach is the volume. You can get a yeah. couple of bags and it goes Here's down the back into it. Close to nothing. No time whatsoever. Like so, like so, like so. All right, we're going to... I'm just going to use here... I've got a, a beef gravy uh, powder, just a little bit of water. This is going to be our thickening agent. Okay. Just to bring that all together for us. And a bit of corn flour as well. To thicken it just up? Just to thicken it up a little bit, that's fine. Uh, four minutes, right. Dan, plenty of time. Plenty of time. And uh, this, as I said, is a batch recipe. Now, I would suggest to anybody who has a, a children, get yourself a freezer. Yes. Yeah. That is the big thing, because not only are you going to save money when you find the deals of buy one, get one free and all of those, but you batch cook. Make a batch of everything. If you're going to go to, to all this effort, make a batch of it. And Put when it you're batch freezer. cooking, Dean, should you have them in individual portions, like lunch boxes? Right over there. Like these, Your little okay. tinfoil container, you can have them as small as you like, you can put them in glass, uh, microwavable containers, whatever you might do. But that's perfectly fine as well. You'll get two large portions in there. It's enough to, to feed a small family okay. or one Simon. And it really just depends. 
Thank you, Dean. Way it goes. Have you seasoned this special mouth, Seth? Yes, please. Now, what I want you to do there is put a little bit of that salt and pepper there, and then your cheese. Remember, there's a lot of salt and cheese. You don't want to put too much in. Okay. But it is a cheese sauce, so let's make cheese. If it says cheese on it, let's put the cheese in it. Exactly. Okay. Cheddar. Exactly. Uh, this is just a, a mature white cheddar, exactly. Okay. Again, whatever you prefer. Whatever you have, Absolutely. yeah. Absolutely. All right, so bringing that together, we bring that to a cook, you'll see that the spinach will wilt and oops, make mess uh, and disappear. Okay, so now comes the building part of things. Okay. Um, it's again very simple. Everybody has different ways of doing their lasagnas. You must start on the base though with the mince. Always with the mince. Always with the mince. Always with the mince. It will stop it from sticking. That's the most important. Okay. Uh, and then start building from there. Some people put just mince and bechamel on top or in between. It's entirely up to you, whatever you prefer. Okay. Uh, we'll Everyone has their up. own system, don't they? That should be done now, sir. Right, so we are going to use a bigger spoon than this. There we go. So you're layering it up. There we go. So, in goes the first layer, if you want to stick your lasagna. Now, I'm using fresh lasagna sheets. Did you uh, make these? Like no, 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 no. Okay. I, I bought these okay. in a, a convenience store. Um, you can get them from any of the major retailers and just... Uh, sorry. Uh, Separate pop that them. Over. That's, yeah. that's plenty there for that first okay. layer. It's also okay. a great little cheat, Anna, with those lasagna sheets. If you roll them and cut them, you have your instant spaghetti. If you roll yeah. them... You and roll them into a cigar, layers of them... Yes. ...and then cut them, you okay. got... Spaghetti. All right, I'm going to take a little bit of your cheese sauce. I want to put a bit of cheese in between. Look at that, like bechamel. Doesn't so. that look lovely, Dean? Look at that. Fantastic. <laughs> Fantastic. Uh, there's okay. no praise like self praise. There you go there. Yeah. All right, next one layered in between. I have them separated. No I problem. like the Fantastic. idea of you put the bechamel go. in there in the layer as well. A little bit, yes. That's lovely. Yeah, yeah a little yeah. bit. Why not? Um, you know, it's not for everybody, but uh, others like it pure mince and bechamel on top. I like it in between. It gives it a bit of cheesiness throughout. That looks uh, beautiful. Nice and healthy. You can see there's uh, plenty of vegetables hidden in there. And I tell you, once it cooks, kids won't even know the they difference. They cook down, no. don't they? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. That's why you know, I cook the mushrooms down as well. Thank you very much. Could you, if you wanted as well, excellent. blitz that just to hide the veg even more? Of course you could. Of yeah. course you could. You can make a, a sauce. But if you, know, if you want to get a nice... Oh, that'll just pour on top. That's fine. Okay. You want? I prefer nice chunky vegetables in yeah. it myself. But I yes, think adults do. But for the kids, kids, if you're trying to disguise really what's going on, if they're too on. chunky, the kids just pick them pick out. Them. Don't That's they? a pepper. Yeah. yeah. I don't so like the coloured stuff. Yeah. <laughs> it's very simple. Okay, and we pop our cheese Amazing. on the top. Thirty seconds. Look at that for timing. Huh? Perfect. Into well an done, oven Dean. for how long, Dean? Into an oven about forty-five minutes. If it's hot, I would suggest. As you see there, put it on a tray, otherwise you dirty your Leakage. oven and you don't want that to happen. And I go over here because the food is coming out of the oven. And here's one we made earlier. Would you like to serve it up here or would you yeah, like to serve it up here? Yeah, perfect. Marvellous. There we go. I'll eat it on my lap. Okay. So, uh, perfect beautiful. in colour as well, isn't it? Okay. Oh, yeah, baby. clean up afterwards, yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. sure, Dean. I will no. clean up. Don't be worrying. Don't be and much of a left. there's no issue with using a dried pasta as well. Each to their own. If you yeah, prefer you dried pasta. Oh, whatever makes fresh. your life a bit easier, Absolutely. isn't it? Absolutely. There is... Oops. And there, there she things. blows. Look at that. The first one. Gorgeous. And the veg. The amount of veg is in the Dean. Genius, as always. Fantastic. The recipe will be up on our website, won't it? It will, it indeed. Will. Thank you, Chef. Or, of course, yeah. you can call in to Dean himself in the Ra Radisson Blue Hotel in Athlone and tell him that we sent you. Yes, indeed.